Namaste everyone. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. So in this video, I'm going to show you a Django web application. And this is how the home page of the application looks like. So as you can see, the server is already running and the application is accessible on port 8000, right? So it is uh, uh, accessible on my local machine only. You cannot access it because I haven't published it online yet, right? And you don't have to worry about the code. As I've told you in the earlier lecture, previous lectures also, that all the applications which I'm going to show you on my channel, you will get the code of the same in the description section in the form of a link. So for this application also, I'm going to put a link in the description section visiting which you can download the code that has been used for coding the application that is that you're seeing right now. Now how the application works, let me show that to you. So as you can see the first, this is the home page and right on the top we have a beautiful header section, right? And there are some pictures that have been used here. Uh, here on the top, this is the email information and the telephone number. If you have to modify it, just uh, make the changes in the code and you will get the get to see the modified number and email ID on the top. Uh, similarly, if you have to modify the icon here, you can do that too, that too very easily. Right. Now let's come down. Here is our story section. So here you can edit, uh, you know, this part and you can edit these photos also. So what you have to do basically, uh, you know, this web application is picking up the photographs from the static uh, folder. So I have a folder named IMG in static and you know, all the images that you will get to see in the about page that are coming from here, right? Then all the images that you will see in the blog page, these are coming from here, right? So what you have to do, just delete these images and add the ones which you have to see on your website or which you want people to see on your web page, right? Or website. So this is what you have to exactly do, right? Similarly, you can edit the event pages, event page also. So just remove these photographs or if you want to use these photographs also and you have to put some more photographs you have to add some more photographs so just take the dimensions of this uh, these photographs and you know create a photograph of your own right which you want to add you want to want your users to see on your website and just add them here in these folders Right, so all, all of them will come on the web application automatically. You don't have to worry about anything. Now we have a special promotion. So if you have to order anything, so you can simply click here on order now and it will redirect the, uh, you know, customer. Okay, I think this page is not working. No problem. I'll show you how one can order the food. Right. For now, I think I haven't linked it with any, uh, you know, page. That is the reason. Okay. So, okay. Now, if you'll hit this order now, I think this is where you can make the selections. So, suppose you have to check out the things of breakfast only. Right. You have to check the dishes of breakfast. You can select breakfast from here. And you can see, uh, you know, filter has been applied and uh, right now we are only seeing those dishes which can be ordered as a breakfast, right? Similarly, if you have to order something for lunch, so you can simply click here on lunch and, you know, you will be showed the recipes or uh, the dishes that you can order for your lunch. Then for dinner also, you can, you know, have the same thing for coffee. We have these two options for snacks. We have these three options. So, you know, you can customize these options yourself, right? You can make the changes in the photographs, as I've told you. There is another static folder present here. 
and let me show that also to you yeah this is the one so here also we have a folder named img right and here also we have some photographs so you know these photographs you can change okay then we have events section suppose you have to uh, you know tell your users that this is the event which is going to happen soon so this is where you can post it so there is no option for posting only the admin can make the changes in the back end if he understands the code and even if you are new to django you can do it very easily you just have to uh, replace the information which is getting reflected over here uh, just change the date over here and then you have to change the event name photograph you can change uh, i've already told you how you have to change the photographs from where the photographs are coming on the web application so it's going to be a very simple thing for you guys then awesome shifts uh, we have another section over here on the home page so you can see here i have uh, uh, you know i have these facebook icon this twitter handle right so the social media handles on which the social media handles of these shifts if you have to put here so that the uh, users or your customers can directly communicate with them or they can come to know uh, their expertise so definitely you can do that too you just have to come out django code and you know you need to have understanding of uh, you know html that's the only thing which is required for now right as i've already as i've already told you that i'm going to give you the whole code so if you understand the, this code if you understand html you just have to make the required changes so that you can redirect the user to the you know specific page where the information about these chefs are there right even if they have their own you know handles you can link those handles links uh, to your web application so that users can come to know more about your chefs and you know the kind of expertise they guys have then we have lifestyle okay right so that's the home page let me now show you how one can order put and place an order so we he can click here okay so this is how image will come so he can only come to know about the you know price of the recipes he cannot place the order sorry right but definitely if you know django you can do that too now if you have to if a user has to book a table so what he can do he can simply click here on book a table and he will be redirected on the reservation page where he will get to see a form kind of thing now here he can put his name so i'm putting my name for now okay and then uh, let me just change the date to something else because i've already placed the table for two uh, some while back so uh, for the same date 25 so i'm changing it to 26 expected time let me make it 22 okay and here i have to put the phone number so if you will put the phone number simply like this okay three people and here i can just just put a comment i would like to have some flowers on the table right simply if i just click here on book my table what is going to happen the web page will give me an error so it says the phone number entered is not valid so what do you have to do the user will have to put the phone number is uh, like this so it, he is expected to put a phone number like this with uh, the country pin code in the beginning okay and after that followed by the phone number then he can book a table so he'll get a notification here you have successfully booked a new table confirm your by paying for the table fine then he can pay for the table uh, you know he can get the ptm number of the uh, concerned person and he can simply make the payment right so this is how the whole thing of the website looks like and this is how one can operate a website operate the website now if a person if uh, a customer has to put some query or he has some questions he can send a message to you just by putting his name his phone number you know his email address subject and message here and then he can send the message right so that's the 
whole web application and if you have to suppose link your uh, you know restaurants uh, facebook account or twitter account or anything with this web application you can simply make use of these icons at the top i hope you have understood everything uh, so the code of this web application will be available in the description section just click just click that link and you will be redirected to the github repo from where you can download the entire code now once you're done with downloading the code you will you'll have to extract the zip file because it will be downloaded in the form of zip file and once you're done with uh, you know downloading the zip file let me just tell you what exactly you have to do after that give me a moment so you'll initially uh, you will get some errors but uh, so for you know getting rid of those errors you'll have to install the required libraries so what i uh, you know uh, what i faced is this after downloading the application's code you know i just uh, you know use this migrating command and the first error which it gave me is uh, this phone number field django phone number field so there is a, a library you have to install which is django phone number field then there is another library which you'll have to install named phone numbers then uh, when after installing these li these two libraries you will run the migrate command it will run successfully and finally when you will run the server it will come up on port number 8000 but you know in case you get an error like this static files error if you'll get uh, static files is not recognized tag library must be one of if you will get uh, an error like this in order to get rid of these errors what you can do you have to come here uh, in this folder first gem b okay and here you will get to see some html files inside the templates named folder so you'll have to replace static files over here with static similarly you have to make the same changes in all the other html files present in the templates named folder now same thing you have to do with the uh, html files present inside the templates folder of project named application which is again an application present inside this project okay so there are two applications present inside the project one is with name jembi and the other one is with name project okay so there is a folder named auth if you will come here you will again see static files written over here so just change it to static similarly you have to change uh, the you have to make the required changes here also in the register.html then in super folder super named folder you will again find some html files where you have to again make the same changes once you are done with that your application will automatically come up and you will get to you know you will be able to access all the features which i have showed you in the video i hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot Please keep supporting, keep liking my videos and keep uh, sharing them in your groups. Uh, reach out to your friends and ask them to join my channel so that they can also come and learn new things about IT, uh, you know, new IT related things on my channel. And definitely whatever you are, uh, you know, whatever I'm sharing with you guys in uh, on my channel, it will definitely help you in getting a very, very good job. I myself got a job of, uh, you know, senior full stack Python developer recently by doing all these things from last two, three years. I'm doing uh, these things. I am into application development for many years, but just because I completely, you know, devoted my heart and soul to these things uh, two to three years back, I decided that I'll, I have to do something uh, in the field of coding. And just because of the passion I have for coding and passion I have for creating new things, I am able to, uh, you know, get a very satisfactory job today. And still I am learning new things.
currently i am doing cloud computing recently i did a project of uh, you know that was of uh, more than 100 crore project i did and it was a great success let me tell you so you know things like that i keep doing and i uh, would like you also to join me in the coding field and if you want to do it definitely it's very easy just concentrate on your coding skills if you don't know coding you can take help of mine you can take help of my coding classes right definitely you will not regret you just need a push right and that those coding classes which i provide to my students will be able to give you a very very good knowledge a very very good push that may you that you may require you know to achieve uh, that success which you really want today okay so keep uh, sharing my lectures thank you very much for showing your interest in my videos and uh, you know showering your love on my channel bye bye take care and have a great great day ahead thank you very much everyone